I fell into the game with instant kill chapter. Super sensory it was at a high level dungeon, as I thought, after dealing with all the guardians and moving on, a trap came out this time, magic circles were engraved on the walls of the long, straight passage, salute to those of you who passed the first ordeal, break through the magic arrows raining from all sides and go to the passage on the other side Quang, Ash's sword strike destroyed all the magic circles on the wall, after that, traps continued to appear, but we easily passed it, these traps appeared while telling us we had to pass the trials. I didn't think the one who made these traps expected us to move forward while dealing with everything like this, so I feel a little sorry, most dungeons were created in ancient times, because of this, there were many cases where the guardians and traps prepared by the creators were too old and did not work, just like the dungeon where the floating veil was hidden last time however, the creator of this dungeon didn't seem to be a very good mage, the devices were still working properly, at least, Perhaps it was created relatively late in ancient times, or it was not an ancient dungeon at all. Eventually, a huge stone gate appeared, as if advertising that this was the final stage. Is it the end? I found nothing like a hidden space on my way here. So the mystery I was looking for must be in there. I wondered if this was the end of an ordeal that was really not an ordeal. Then a letter glowed on the floor right in front of the door. The last ordeal is an ordeal to test your luck. Armed forces, wisdom, companions, trust, and powerful weapons. Even if you have all of those things the most important thing is luck. Pick up the marble placed right in front of the door and insert it into one of the two holes in the door. If you choose the correct answer, the door will open. If you choose the wrong answer, the door will not open forever. Opportunity comes only once. Asha couldn't read the ancient language, so she just stared blankly at it, not understanding the meaning. After reading all the explanations, I moved on, I picked up the orb from the pedestal in front of the door and walked closer, clap, with little hesitation, I inserted a bed into the hole in the left, and there was no response from the door, the letters shown on the floor again, wrong answer, adventurer, unfortunately, you do not deserve to claim my legacy, throw away your regrets and go back, I scratched my cheek and said to Asha, Asha, break it, war, the huge stone gate was shattered, it seemed to have been strengthened with magic, but it meant little in front of Asha's power, after going through all those traps, we finally reached the end of the dungeon. I stood in front of the collapsed door, peeked inside, and spoke to Asha, wait here, yes, I left her and went inside, after passing through the narrow passage, what appeared soon was a space resembling a laboratory, in the middle was a luxurious wooden box like a treasure chest, when I opened it, there was an old book and a letter inside, judging from the title, the book seemed to be a magic book in which the creator of the dungeon organized his magic, and the letter was also a letter from the creator, after looking at the contents roughly, congratulations on coming this far, and since his own magic is a one person transmission, he should pass it on to only one person, I closed the letter with a smile. Looking at the devices in the dungeon, one could roughly tell the maker's magic skills, but the letter was written as if he had left a great magic book of some century. I looked around, there was no passage to go further, so this was the only space where the mystery could be, however, there was no mysterious pattern anywhere in the immediate sight, could it be that after all this hardship, was it all in vain again, feeling a little impatient, I took a more thorough look around me. Ah, and when I moved the bookshelf in the corner and looked at the wall behind me, I could finally grin, a mysterious pattern engraved on the wall, it was shimmering in a blue light and was exquisitely covered because it was the size of a bookshelf. Elf. I reached out my hand without hesitation toward the pattern, Whack. as always, the pattern glowed brightly and was absorbed into my body. I stood there blankly for a moment, then slowly looked around again, what is this? I felt it, as soon as I absorbed the mystery, I felt it clearly, the sound the smell, all the stonily flowing in from around, I clearly recognized the presence of Asha standing outside the room, as if I could see it, as I concentrated more, my senses sharpened and I could even feel insects crawling on the floor, it felt like crossing the threshold of a whole new world, was this, was this the sensation that superhumans in this fantasy world usually feel?
and it wasn't just a sensation, my reflexes were also noticeably improved. I picked up a stone from the floor and threw it. The stones flying in a parabolic arc to the other side looked slow, like slugs crawling. In addition, the visual acuity was enhanced, so even while flying, every angular part of the stone could be seen clearly. What a cheat. Really, this was a skill I really shouldn't have missed. After being properly beaten by an ancient mage earlier, I realized it once more. Even if I had defensive abilities, if I couldn't react to an attack, it's useless, however, with this level of cognitive ability, he could cope with the speed of most superhumans, I'll have to adapt quickly. I clenched my fists and closed them, calming the sharpened senses again. I just got it, so I was not used to it yet, but it didn't seem like it would take long for my body to get used to it, come to think of it. This mystery had no name, in the game, Tear never gave it a specific name, after thinking about it for a while, I immediately came up with a suitable name, there was the mystery of super regeneration, and this one roughly had the same feeling, super sensory, with this, I had already obtained three mysteries, including super sensory.